The Kenya Forest Research Institute is working on enhancing tree species that are faced with extinction due to overexploitation by developing tree varieties that can be grown by farmers in an effort to increase the forest cover and realize the 10% forest cover. Kefri Director Dr. Ben Chikamai says the trees including sandalwood, which is currently used in the production of cosmetics, is threatened. On growing of the East African sandalwood for the tree growers. This is a species that is very important where we are getting a lot of the essential oil being used mainly in the cosmetic and pharmaceutical industries internationally. It is threatened. It has been overexploited in the wild and Kefri has now worked on it in trying to come up with technologies for increasing and domesticating it uh, uh, on the farms. He said the institution is also working on revamping the arid and semi-arid areas through developing tree varieties that exist in the respective localities to be grown by local communities in an effort to prevent desertification and mitigate climate change. Focusing in largely on the trees that can grow in the dry areas and that are indigenous in the dry areas. One species that we have done quite a lot is called mkau. Scientific name is Melia volkensai. It's a tree species which is very good for timber. It's also multi-purpose. It produces timber close to mahogany. In fact, it's the mahogany of Kenya. That is being grown particularly in Ukambani and the eastern part of this particular country in the dry areas. <laughs> Speaking at the launch of the Kefri Strategic Plan for the next five years, Dr. Chikamai said involvement of farmers and local communities is critical towards realizing sustainable environmental protection. Here we are devolving our national strategy uh, to be in accordance with the needs and priorities of various ecoregions. Judith Akolo, Channel One News.